All right, so now I want to do a few things that I've um, that I forgot to do up to this point. Um, now the register and login button. I'll show you really quick. Uh, you'll notice if you log in, and then if you go to the home, they're still displayed, so we don't want that. Um, so if you go into client source app components, and then that was the home component. Um, so what we can do is hide these. Um, so before I do that, what I need to do is import the authentication service. Um, that way I'll know if a user is logged in or not. And then I'll pass it here in the constructor. All right, and so that allows us to use it here in the HTML. And what I'm gonna do is create a third button. Um, and this one's gonna be, uh, just say view blogs. And it's gonna redirect to the blog page. Um, so I'll add an ng if statement that says um, auth service dot logged in. Okay, so in other words, if not logged in, then show this. Otherwise, don't. And we'll do the opposite for that button. One last thing, I also want to change this class to success. Okay, and so those buttons should disappear. And this should redirect. Um, now, once you log out, they should go back to how it was. Now, the other thing is, um, I actually already did this part, but if you go into um, the routes, uh, let's see. You want to make sure that for the blog route, um, you pass in the auth guard. Um, I forgot to do that in the last video, but then I realized it after I was done recording. Um, so you want to make sure uh, because users should be logged in before they can access that. So the next thing that we want to do, um, log back in here. So on this blog page, I don't want to have this dynamic one. Um, I want to have all the ones that are in the database right now. And so what I'll need to do first is create that um, on the back end. Uh, so I'll go into route blogs.js. Uh, I'll just create it here at the bottom. So it's going to be a get request. And we'll say all blogs request response. And then I'm going to test this. Now, um, since I'm testing this in Postman, what I want to do is go over to my authentication file and disable the middleware that checks for tokens. Um, otherwise, I'm not going to be able to test this in Postman. So I will just temporarily uh, stop that. And then once I hit save on that, I can go test this. All right. So it's going to be slash blogs slash all blogs and get and then hit send. Okay, then you just want to make sure you get that test there in return. So now I'm going to uh, use the blog model and I'm going to find all. And the way you do that is with empty curly braces like that. Um, and then pass in either error or blocks. And as usual, if we get any errors, we're going to respond with an, a message for the front end. Okay. And then if we don't have any blogs, we'll also respond with a um, message. Um, and then lastly, what I'll do is oops, send. Actually, I don't need a message. I can just pass in the blogs themselves. Uh, so let me go ahead and test this. I'll just hit send again. All right, and here are all of our blogs. Um, now it's just uh, displaying them in order by when they were created in the database, so by the ID. But I want to I want to order these in list of newest to uh, oldest because what I'm going to do here is the newest one is going to be on the top. All right, um, whereas here uh, the oldest one is on the top. All right, so I'm just gonna uh, what I'll do is at the end here uh, at the the find method here you want to just type in dot sort 
and you can specify the order that you want. Um, and so I'm going to use the ID field and uh, dash one, and that just means a descending order. Okay, and that'll put the uh, newest one on top instead. Um, and you'll you'll see here that uh, you'll see this test body title one is the first one. Once I hit send, um, then we have this one, and the test body one is at the bottom. All right, so it just has the old uh, the newest ones on top. So um, since I'm done doing that, what I can do is go back into the authentication file and um, enable this middleware because um, we're going to use that now on the front end. Then I'm going to go into the Angular side, into the client, into the services and the blog service. And I'm going to create a new one down here. I'll name this get all blogs and create the headers just like above. And it's going to be http.get this domain um, blogs. And it was all blogs followed by the options. Oops. Okay, so then in the blog component, I can subscribe to that. Um, so go into blog components, blog, um, and then the component.ts file. And uh, I believe I already created the function to get all the blogs. Uh, let me do a quick search here. Um, okay, maybe I didn't, that's fine. Um, so down here, I'll name it uh, get all blogs. And so I'm going to use that blog service to get all the blogs and subscribe. Um, and then I will create, uh, we'll say blog posts. Okay. And so that's what I'll use to assign that so that I can use it in the HTML. Um, and then I also want to run this when the page uh, first loads. So down here in NGINET, underneath um, this one right here, I'm just going to pass that in to make sure that it gets uh, run on, on startup. And if you remember up here when we submit the form, uh, I created a comment for getting all the blogs. Um, let's see, where did I add it? Um, I must have deleted it, but it's going gonna, it's gonna to be right here and the else part. So you can do it just above the set timeout. And so I'll just say get all blogs. Okay. And you'll see why in a second. Um, basically what that's going to do is anytime a new blog is posted, um, it's going to re re uh, it's going to recall this function and then get any new blogs and display them on the page here. Okay. And um, so before we test this, make sure you go ahead and log out and log back in. Um, because we disabled that middleware, uh, so therefore there is no token saved to the headers here. So you want to just log out and log back in um, before we go any further. Um, so next we have to go into the HTML and then implement this right here. Um, so it's already sorted out for us, so we just have to implement it. Um, so what I'm going to do is take this um, the static one that I created before and just kind of replaced everything. So right here in the primary uh, layer of the panel, um, I'm going to add an ng um, for statement, right? So basically, that's like an ng repeat for Angular JS, um, and it just allows you to iterate to an array. Um, so it's going to be let blog of blog posts, and so it's going to repeat this uh, this window, this panel. Um, this one for every single blog that's inside of this blog post array. Okay, so this is an array of objects. So it's going to repeat that for each one. And so then now, since we have this blog, um, we can replace this title. And we ju just do that with the double curly braces and then type in blog.title. Uh, same thing with the body. You can replace all this with blog.body. And then we'll just kind of work our way down and do all of that here.
And then I actually want to filter this date um, because it's going to come out in a weird format. Uh, so I'm just going to add a pipe to this and then type in date and then specify the format I want. And I'll do month, uh, three, three character month with the day followed by a comma and the year. And then for likes, we'll do blog.likes. And so what I want to do is hide both of these if if the post belongs to the user that's logged in. Um, and so if you recall back in the component, we have uh, this right here, which is the username that we get from the profile data. So we can use that to compare it to the current post. Um, so here in this div, I'll add an ng4. And it'll say if username is equal to blog.createdby. So in other words, if the user logged in is the same one that posted this, then hide these, okay? Um, actually not ng4, it should be um, ngf. Okay, and then for these links right here for the edit and delete, um, we're gonna do a little bit of customization. Um, so I'm gonna get rid of this entirely, and I'm going to add router link inside the brackets like that. And what I'm going to do is specify the route edit blog um, followed by blog underscore um, ID. And uh, whoops, I actually forgot to pass in quotations. Okay, so what this is going to do is uh, whenever users hit the edit button, it's going to open a new page which we haven't created yet. And the page is going to be edit blog slash and then whatever the ID of the current blog post is. And that's going to allow us to retrieve it from the database. And it's going to be unique for each post, okay? Um, and so I'm basically going to do the exact same thing down here. And so we don't want every user to be able to edit this, um, even though they're not going to uh, be, they're not going to be able to because we'll, we're going to configure it on the back end. Um, but I also just want to add an ng if to make sure that it just, there's no point in showing it if they can't edit it. Um, so what we want to do is make sure that only the user that posted this, uh, this blog post is able to edit it. Um, and we'll sort of do what the same thing we did up here. We'll say if, um, if username is equal to whoops blog created by okay so only users that created this will be able to see it go ahead and add that down here as well and then down here for the like um, this is the like button we sort of want to do the same thing um, we don't want to let users like their own post um, so I'm just gonna add um, Actually, I'll just copy the same one, um, but I'll say if it doesn't equal. All right, and I'll do the same here. Okay, then I just want to show you what this looks like so far. Um, so this is a view if the user, if they're not the ones that posted this. If they didn't post this, they're going to see the like button, they're going to see the dislike button, and then posting comments. And they'll be able to view, um, and they'll be able to click either one of these. Now, if they are the user that posted it, then this is what they're going to see. They're going to see an option to edit or delete um, the post. Okay. And then we'll also let them post a comment if need be. That way they can re reply to other users. Okay, and uh, before I wrap up, what I want to do is, if you remember, we created that, that reload button. Um, so... I want to grab this function, the get all blogs, and find that button, uh, the reload button, and add it here. Okay, um, so I kind of want to show you how this works and why I did this. So I'm going to create a new post on, on one profile, and so I'll just name it. Um, so you'll see here it it shows up, um, but if you go to the other user's profile, it doesn't, right? They'll have to re hard refresh the page. 
Um, but now that we have this button, we can click it and then you'll see the new post appears here.